Hello, this is Paul from Force Attack. In this lecture, we are going to deal with the calculus for polar coordinate curve. And first, we're going to find that the area bounded by polar curves. We have two cases. Okay, we'll look at the first case. And uh, here the graph for the polar curve. And we use R equals F at a theta. The angle theta from A to B. So it forms an area. How to find the area of this one? Okay, and we have the basic idea of uh, integration, right? So how to do? We cut the variable which is theta in pieces. Okay, from A to B, if we cut it at theta, and with d theta is the increment, so we will form a small piece of the area. And this um, area, of course, we can uh, do approximation for this small area by the sector, right? by the area of the sector. Okay, so the sector is what I'm, I'm drawing for you here, the red one. Okay, so all we need to do is find the area of the small sector and then do the integration of all, right? So what the area of the sector you do know. The area of the sector is one half times radius square r square times d theta, right? d theta is the angle for this small sector. But what is r? r we do know is f theta square. So one half times f theta square times d theta. So can you see? This is a small piece, the area. And all we need to do to find all the area is to integration. Integration uh, about uh, this variable theta from a to b. See, it's easy, right? So it should be easy to get it. So this one, this area of the small piece, the small sector, OK? <coughs> And uh, we have this the first formula. Look at the second formula. So the second formula, the area formed not by one curve, not a one polar curve. We do have two polar curve. Can we see the top one? Okay, is r equals f. The bottom one, okay, is r equals g. So both the curve are the fraction uh, are the functions of theta, right? So we look at what is the uh, the interval, okay? For theta, theta from a to b is there. Okay, the smallest a, the smallest theta is a, the biggest the theta is b. So this time we do have an area. Okay, the top, the bottom, the left, the right, right. So like this. Okay, so we do basic. The variable theta we call it theta in pieces. So each piece this time can we see? Okay, so this one piece. Uh, what this piece? The what's the approximation? Of course. So we can do this. We can do uh, this is a portion of a, a sector, right? If we cut it at a theta, this is a, so how do you say? If I cut it, this is a theta. If I say to here, this is a theta, see? And then this is d theta. So we definitely, uh, sorry. So what do you do? So I cut at the theta and the increments d theta, so we have a, a small area. This area can be approximated by this one. And this word, this we call the portion of a sector. Okay, it's a big sector and they cut at the top of a piece, right? All we need to do, this word, this is the big sector and this is the small sector. Okay, we minus the area of the small sector from the big sector get what the portion of the sector. So how do you find it? Definitely, is the big sector is one half times the big one with the radius f, right? So one half times f square d theta is the big uh, area minus the, the small this small one is one half times this radius. The radius is the bottom, right? G. So one half my uh, times g square times d theta. Can you see? So. And if we factor the, the common factor, the one half out, and so we get what we have. Okay. And uh, then for all the area, just do integration, right? So integration for the angle from A to B, uh, and then we have everything. Can we see this is the two two cases? And for the second case, I don't have an example for you, but it's similar. Okay. So all we need is the formula. I give you examples for the first part. Okay. So. The area formed or formed by one uh, polar curve. <coughs> so can we see? Uh, this first, I have two questions. Okay, so here the first questions: 
And uh, we have uh, cardioid, remember the category, and we discussed uh, uh, the last topic, right? So R equals 1 plus sine, this is the cardioid. And they go from here at the beginning and then they go to the end like this. Theta 0 is at here. Theta goes uh, counterclockwise to here is 2 pi. Okay, so now how do you find the area formed okay, inside? How do you find the area? So theta cut in pieces, so we do have uh, the area formula, right? So now all we need to do is do what? Use the formula. Our directory, we can't define. Um, so I use A to describe the area. So what do we have? We do have this. Okay, we say A is, I copy the formula to here first. And the theta is from 0 to 2 pi, right? 0 to 2 pi. Okay. And each second, remember, each is small, uh, each area of the small second is uh, one half times r square, right? And then times d theta. One half r square d theta is the small area for the small pieces of second. Remember that. So we learned this formula from trigonometry. And all we need is this formula. Okay, this is the formula. If we have the formula, we almost have everything. Uh, R we do not, right? So all we need is plug in and then do integration. So I'm going to show what is the results look like. And uh, I'm going to plug in 0 to 2 pi. 1 half, right? So 1 half. R square is that one. So it's 1 plus sine theta square d theta. This is plug in, and then this perfect square I expand by the perfect square. Of course, this one half I plug out, I factor it one half out. So one half here, and then zero to two pi. And then this factor and this expand. What do I get? How do I get this? I get a one square plus two uh, times sine theta plus. Some square right at the theta and then d theta. Okay, so you know how to do, and uh, this we do know the end of the value, we do know the end of the value of this and uh, reduce power, right? So remember this. If I put it here for this term, is uh, uh, reduce the power and uh, is use power reducing, right? Or the half angle formula. Okay, so I put it here is uh, equals one half um, zero to two pi and then the I put it here so I keep uh, one there I keep uh, two times the sine theta there so this is what if someone remember is one half right is one half times one minus uh, one minus uh, cosine at uh, two theta I put this and d theta. Okay, so this is what this is uh, exactly uh, the formula for power reducing. Okay, so now almost right, and uh, this constant term we put it together. Or we compound the like term. You can see I'm going to compound the like term. Zero to two pi. Uh, after the compound the like term, I get this. 1 and 1 half is uh, 3 over 2, right? And then I plus 2 sine theta. Okay, so this is a minus. So minus 1 half times the cosine at 2 theta. Okay, and then d theta. Now you know, this one we know, each one we know the end of the value. All are directly use the fundamental. So the fundamental I get is here. This is a 3 over 2 times theta. And this is a minus, right? Minus 2 times a cosine theta. So this is a cosine, the end of the is a sine. Uh, but it divided by 2, so here it goes to 1 fourth, right? 1 fourth goes to sine at 2 times theta, OK? From 0 to 2 pi. This is the fundamental, OK? And then plug this special value, OK? Plug in. I skip a little, so what I get? I get a 3 over 2 
pack. Okay, so this is already the, an the answer for the area. Okay, not a difficult, right? Just a two calculation. All we need is that the beginning of the formula. So, two more questions. <clears throat> one more, one more questions. Can we see this? How do you find the area? How do you prove? Okay. This is a very famous question, right? If we have a circle, what the area of the circle? Do we proved this before? We proved this in uh, trig substitution, remember? Trig substitution. Because the function, if the semicircle is y equals square root of a square minus uh, x square, right? Okay, so we have to do trig substitution, a little bit longer calculation. However, see here, I was going to show you. This is amazing simple, okay? Um, so the polar curve, R equals A, right? All the distance is A. And the angle, what the angle, so probably I need to show is a little here. What is theta? Theta belongs to 0 to 2 pi. It's good enough, right? See, R equals A. And the, it's a constant there. And the theta is between the 0 to 2 pi, and then we form this curve, the polar curve. Now, I use the formula. The area is there, uh, so I will show you the formula first. Um, um, what is the area? Okay, so I will show you A equals this. A is uh, theta integrate 0 to 2 pi. Cut in pieces, each piece that's easiest. Remember the formula 1 half r square. And the d theta, right? This is the formula. Okay, so that's all we need. That's the formula. And then now, uh, upper log, what is r? r is a, right? The radius. Okay, so upper log a here, what do I get? 1 to 1 half times a is a constant number square times d theta. Okay, so look at it. Uh, so this is a constant. I mean, so if we, this is a constant number uh, is the base and that is the height. Or we say this is the height and that is the base. Whatever, because this area is should be what? This is the height, okay, is a rectangle, okay. And then we use the rectangle is, uh, and this is the area for rectangle, right? So you know, this is the area of uh, rectangle. And the, uh, the height of the rectangle is the value of the function constant. And the, the base is 0 to 2 pi, which is 2 pi. So at the base, at the height times the base, which is how many? 1 half a square at the height times the base is 2 pi minus 0. OK, then what? And uh, I cancel 2, we get a pi a square. OK, so that's all. Can you see? Is that the famous formula we do? Yes, the area is uh, pi times uh, radius square, right? Okay, so we prove it. That's all. Thank you.